Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. So hey guys, in this video I'll be showing how to make a closed loop control of a buck converter and um, kindly refer to our previous video on designing of the buck converter. So we'll be just making the control uh, loop for the buck converter in this video. So we'll need an adding block and we'll need a constant and we'll have to change the values of the adding block to plus and minus we'll have to add the reference value and uh, subtract the value of the output of the buck converter so it'll always it'll give an error value that it keeps in the loop you need a gain block that acts as a part of the forward loop and which is just a screen yes so now we'll also need a PID controller, which we will be making it to an integral block, one I into one by S, and the gain is 200. So we make an integral block. Um, the integral value has to be four times the switching frequency. So if you take a switching frequency of 10 kilohertz, it will be 4,000. And yeah, and if you make it, uh, Make sure that it triggers on the falling edge. And now we'll need a pulse generator. We'll be adding the pulse generator to the PI the, to the I con integral block. And um, yeah, and you'll make it 1 by 10 kilohertz. And you need an adding block. I'll make it plus and minus. We'll also need a relay. So the relay basically, Alex, as I'll explain later, it will um, limit the values to be 0 and 1 and nothing in between 0 and 1. Um, we'll also need to go to the modeling and uh, change the con solver. So we'll change the solver to ODE23. Yes, and so we'll give a reference of 5 volts and in oh, now let's get a display block to um, see the output. So let's run the simulating simulation circuit. So as you can see the uh, Output value goes as close to 5 volts as possible, which is 4.9 something. And if you make it 50 volts input and you know run the circuit, it, it still remains the same. So let's keep the input voltage same and we'll change the reference voltage and have a look at the this thing. So change the reference voltage to 20 volts, and as you can see, it goes towards 19 volts. So that's how you control a buck converter and uh, Hopefully this video was useful. So that's all for this video. And if you would like to hear me describe each and every individual component within the circuit, I would do it now. Okay, before closing it down. So you have your uh, MOSFET here, which acts as a switch. And then you have your PC voltage source. You can, con you can consider it as a battery. You can consider it as a voltage source. And then you have your diode. You have an inductor. The inductance value is taken as 10 Henry. And um, your RLC bench, the capacitor, is 200 uh, microfarad. And you have your resistance to be 10 ohms. And you have a display block. You have a scope to see the output. You have a voltage measurement block. You have the pulse generator. You have the PID controller, which is an integral controller in this case. And you have your relay. So let me just open the relay block. So yeah, so this is the relay block. The output, this, the output, the specifies on and off value. We compare the input to the specified thresholds and on and off state relay. So when it's on, the output is one. When it is off, the output is zero. It makes sure, basically, it makes sure that you know there is no zero point five or there is no zero point seven. There's nothing in between zero and one, basically. And this is a gain gain block which acts in the forward loop of the con controller. So that's it.
um, there's not much to it and um, if you guys want the buck converter simulation video as I mentioned before just have a look at the other video we've done on this channel before there's a proper design of the buck converter so you could refer to that so yeah thank you for watching this video hopefully it was useful and yeah kindly subscribe to our channel if you like the video and you want more such content and do check out our other channel other videos as well thank you